statements like, oh, I had an orthotic, it doesn't work. I've even heard a physician say, I don't use orthotics, they don't work. Well, what people don't realize is there's so many choices for materials and design of orthotics, starting from the initial evaluation to how the cast is made for the patient. I still do things the old fashioned way. I still make a cast impression of the foot. That's a negative impression. A positive mold is made of that. Every patient has specific needs. Guy could be a runner. Somebody could wear suits and dress shoes all the time with very little space in his shoe. He might need a graphite device. Whereas a runner, we might place in a polypropylene device. So there's, it's limitless as far as the types of orthotics. There's functional components to an orthotic. Uh, there's orthotics that are built more for structural deformities. Uh, diabetics, for instance, uh, we want to accommodate for prominent areas. Uh, we could have uh, ulcers that we need to take into account and heal. We need to offload them. And then you take into account the specific foot mechanics and structure for every athlete. They're different. One guy might be a super pronator. Another guy has a cavus foot. One guy has a tight Achilles or a limb length discrepancy. You know, we don't, we don't want to treat every patient who comes in with pain uh, with anti-inflammatories and medications. If there's a specific structure that's being overused, or there's a pressure-related area, we want to address that. We want to address that particular area. And there's no better way to do that than mechanical, take the stress off the foot. We have the full spectrum here as far as uh, choices for orthotics. No one orthotic is perfect for everything. So we make orthotics that are specific for runners, specific for bikers, specific for skaters, hockey players. Uh, there's truly limitless materials as far as uh, orthotic uh, fabrication.